Alright, so this is where I tented last night. The lean-to was totally packed. Um, all the tent sites were taken. So I just walked around and found this area up here. As you can see, a lot of down trees. But uh, this is where I stayed. Down there is where the rest of the camp is. A few tents, a few tents over that way. You can't see. Lolly was right down there. She's already up and gone. She's a nice early riser. Um, and then the brook is right off to the side over here. So you get, get to listen to the brook all night long. So, it was a beautiful, beautiful spot. It did start raining, so I'm glad I was able to uh, pitch the tent before it rained. Good morning, it's day 61, the 5th of August. Heading out, it's about 7.30. Have a 1,200 foot elevation gain in the next, oh, I don't know, about one and a quarter miles. So a pretty steep climb. Uh, the call is for all fun on thunderstorms all day. So hopefully they'll hold off. And even though the next lean to is only 7.2 miles away, it's gonna feel like a 14 mile hike because our four mountains you have to go up and down before you get to that lean to so it's going to be a, a bit of a rough day but i'll take it as i can all right this is the trail this morning so as you can see already i'm going to have to put my phone away it's too steep of a an up area for me to be able to do without holding on to something Okay, about three tenths of a mile up White Cap Mountain from where I took off this morning, and this is the view. Very nice opening. Good view over there. I don't know if my phone will pick it up. There's a lake. It's kind of picking it up. It is hard for me to even imagine what the chairbacks are going to be like when I'm having a difficult time on Whitecap. That is the trail. And the climb continues. I'm slowly getting there. I'm almost to the top. Baby, I'm getting there. All right, I have made it to the top of White Cap Mountain. We are socked in by clouds, so I'm sorry there's not much for you to see. And there you go, the top of a mountain socked in by clouds. Okay, I'll try to get a view in before the clouds come back in. I'll give you a picture of the view here. There's a lake way down there, very pretty. But yep, so there we have it on the other side of the mountain before the clouds come in. All right, I'm continuing over to the next mountain, which I believe is called May Mountain. And that's some pretty steep downhill going on here as I'm still coming down off of Whitecap Mountain. Okay, the sign is showing uh, the Appalachian Trail. I am headed to Carl Newhall Lean To, which is 4.7 miles. Uh, I still have a couple more mountains to climb before I get there. So I should be there hopefully before 8 o'clock tonight. All right, I had the name of the mountain wrong earlier. The one I am currently 
climbing is Hay Mountain. I called it May Mountain earlier. But it is Hay Mountain. So right now, look at this. This terrain isn't bad at all. Not bad at all. Some spots are like a pillow to your feet. Yeehaw! From what I understand, climbing up White Cap Mountain is the hardest of the four mountains today. So I am very thankful for that. I got the hard one over with right away. Now it's not to say there aren't going to be sections of the other mountains going up or down that are hard or are not hard. But at least the steepest elevation gain is already completed. The sign is hard to read, but Appalachian Trail, Hay Mountain, elevation 3,244 feet. So I've made it to the top of Hay Mountain, but it is in a forest. There's not an open view, so I will do a 360 so you can see the beautiful forest. And I will continue on to the next mountain. And I've already forgotten the name of it, but it's about 1.6 miles away. I am continuing to make my way to the third mountain of our four mountains today. This one is called West Peak. So, slowly making my way up now. The trail really hasn't changed much. <laughs> so, it's a beautiful day. The sun has come out now. Every now and then it'll go behind the clouds but overall the sun has come out the temperatures are much lower than they have been the last several days and the humidity is low so it is a very welcome change very very welcome change but yeah got about I think about a half mile to go until I'm at the peak of this one continuing to climb. I think it's hard to see, but the trail is going up there between all of that. I am not having fun anymore. 
or have stopped having fun. All right, I've made it to the top of the third mountain, Appalachian Trail, West Peak elevation, 3,181 feet. So I've made it to the third one. Now it's 1.6 miles over to the fourth one, which is Gulf Haggis uh, Mount or Peak. And this is what the top of West Peak looks like. A bunch of trees. See the sky, but it's pretty cloudy out there. And then I'm heading this way, down the trail. All right, I am descending down West Peak. And I know it's hard to see, but it was quite the descent. Pretty steep, so I'm just taking my time. These trail maintenance people do an awesome job of moving all the big rocks around. So it gives you stairs vice the muddy hill. All right, I am half a mile from the top of Gulf Hang Haggis Summit. And I'm taking a breather because this is what I'm going to be climbing. It goes off to the side. I'll see if I can show you. It goes off to the right over here. You can see there's a blaze on the rock right there. So I'll be rock climbing up there. So I am putting the old camera away. My last mountain of the day, Appalachian Trail, Gulf Haggis Mountain, elevation 2,683 feet. And this is what it looks like around the area. It's still a bit hazy. That's the trail I'll be heading south on. This is the trail I just came up. And now we're back to the sign. All right, I am ascending off of Gulf Hang Haggis Mountain. Time to uh, put away the old trekking poles and hang on to the trees and boulders. All right, I'm about 0.6 miles from the lean-to. Carl Lehman Lean 2. I hope it's not crowded. I hope I can get a space at least for a tent. I, uh, I just want to get there and get off my foot so bad. I'll probably fill up with water first. And then just get off my foot for a little while. Oh boy, okay, put the phone away. And this is why I'm barely going one mile per hour. I'm trying to get over all of this. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I just can't believe this. Well, I have made it to the 
Carl Newhall Memorial Lean To. I'm sure I said his name wrong the first time. I finally have made it. And uh, this is my last Lean To of the Appalachian Trail. When I get picked up tomorrow, I'm officially quitting. My body is not handling it well, and I'm definitely not mentally into continuing the hike. Good morning, it's day 62, the 6th of August, and this is my final day of 2024 being on the Appalachian Trail. Um, I have about a six mile hike from the Carl Newhall Lean To down to the Katahdin Ironworks Road. Um, I don't know, when I made that decision, this was going to be it, I'm done. I just felt like a load lifted off of me. I just feel so much happier. So the decision has been made. I am finished. I'll enjoy the six miles of hiking and then uh, be home in no time at all. And maybe next year, once I give myself ample time to let this foot heal, I will go ahead and come on back out and do some section hiking. I think that'd be a great idea and eventually finish it. It's, it won't be in one year, that's all. It's just going to take me a couple of years to get it done, but I'm going to hope, uh, I'm, I'm not going to hope, I hope I will be able to uh, finish it up. So far this morning, the trail isn't too bad. I did have a river crossing I had to put my phone away for, and there was a young lady there who was guiding a bunch of uh, uh, college-age girls through the trail. They were doing 200 miles here in Maine. Uh, she helped navigate me over. Like, hey, this rock might be better, that kind of thing. Uh, we did get rain last night, quite a bit of rain. So some of the rocks are a little slippery, but it was great to have her there. She was filling up water bottles, and it was great to have her there helping me, just navigate me. Hey, try this rock, might be better, kind of thing. So I made it over. I'm sorry I didn't take any pictures of it, but I understand I might have two more water crossings coming along before I hit the uh, Katahdin Ironworks Road. So stay tuned, and I'll fill you in on those as I get to them. But for now, I'm going to enjoy this fairly cushy trail. Uh, extremely muddy in places, but just the uh, typical main trail. I will enjoy it while I'm here. Right, this is my next little river crossing, I guess. Um, not too bad, even if I had to step in it. We'll see how slippery the rocks might be. Uh, you know, since they are wet and a little bit of moss around the edges of them. But if I have to step in it, so be it. I did pass a gentleman heading north, and he said the bigger river closer to the road I'm getting picked up on is maybe ankle deep, and it's just easier to go ahead and walk through it than it is to try and uh, hop you know, over the rocks. So yeah, so the road, or road, the trail continues up that way. And I'll slowly pan around here so you can see where I have come from. And this is the trail behind me. 
as you can see, are roots, mud, and rocks. Roots, mud, and rocks. All right, the trail is following along Gulf Pegasus Brook. If we could get down, zoom down in there. And there's the brook down that way. You can hear it as you're walking along. And every now and then you get a nice open view of it. Oh yeah, how nice. Back up the trail. There we go. I'm glad I have plenty of time to get to the road before I get picked up. Well, I don't have to rush along. All right, down with the phone again so I can get down this steep hill here. How pretty this is still walking along the Gulf Pegasus Brook Stream. It is so nice to come to open spots like this, see the beauty of that stream. Looks like I have a little bit of a river crossing coming along up here. Bunch of rocks and roots and away I go on the normal trail. Alright, another little river crossing here, just a stream. And then head on up the other side and continue on southbound. Well, as you can see this this blowdown is right on the trail. So I just walked along the side of it there and then came on out. And now heading Back down the trail. There have been some magnificent mud pits to get around. <laughs> that rain last night really uh, left these low-lying areas muddy, muddy, muddy. So it's been fun challenging yourself to try and get around some of them without getting the mud up and over the top of your shoes. So just take the time and 
get around it and stay safe. I use my trekking poles a lot to feel for the depth of the mud because the last thing I want to do is step in and have it suction right around my foot. So as I go to pull my foot off, it could possibly, or pull my foot out, it could possibly pull my sinker off. So I try to keep an eye on that. And again, just use my poles. And a couple places, I was actually able to feel a rock right almost on the surface of the mud, just the mud covering it, and I was able to use that rock to help me get across. All right, hiking, hiking through a stream up the hill here. But yep, again, a lot of this is just from the rain. That's all. Might be hard to see in the video because of the sun, but this is a mud pit. I'm trying to find my way around it. All right, I have made it to the uh, Gulf Haggis Cutoff Trail, but that's not the direction I'm going. I will continue on the Appalachian Trail. And it says Appalachian Trail, attention hikers. Uh, Reforestation project in progress, next two miles on the AT and all Gulf Haggis trails. No camping and no fires. Please stay on marked trails. Well, that sign is kind of jacked up. So I will continue on down the trail. I haven't looked at the map in a while, so I'm not really sure how far I have to go. I don't know, maybe a couple miles. You got me. I haven't even checked it out lately. Just keep pushing forward. No one... I just have to get to that road by 4 o'clock this afternoon. I think it's about 11 o'clock now. So I think I'm doing good. Oh, another mud pit. You gotta love them. I can't imagine what it was like last year when they had all that rain. Where hikers had to actually be evacuated off the trail. Some had to be rescued in the area. Um... Just with the rain we had last night, and it wasn't a downpour, it was a good steady rain all night till about, I don't know, four in the morning. But I just can't imagine what it was like last year. Which one of the locals that was hiking said that's why the roots are sticking up so far this year, is that the rains from last year uh, washed a lot of the dirt away. And then, you know, the hiker's still coming through after it, and it's just uh, made the roots stick up further in the air than normal. So I said it is a bit tougher this year than what he remembers it being. I'm glad they were able to get in here and clear these trees out. That would have been very difficult climbing over all this. But it's been outstanding trail maintenance up here. This simply amazes me. It's been outstanding. Right, I have about 1.8 miles left until my pickup point. I, uh, this trail is a blessing to my feet right now.
So I just passed a family who was day hiking. They're heading north and then gonna turn around and come back later. But I asked them about the stream that's gonna be coming up. I heard I had a wide stream that was about ankle deep in water. Um, and the advice from last night from a lady was not to cross it on the rocks because the rocks are really slippery. Just go ahead and walk in the water. Well, the family today said, well, you can do that because <laughs> the rocks really are slippery, but it's no longer ankle deep. It's up over your knees. So it'll be a little nerve wracking going through it. I don't know if there will be other people there as I go through. <sighs> okay, figure this one out. But uh, if not, then I just have to take my time going through that stream. But that'll be the first really big one I've had to go across where there wasn't uh, rocks to go on. I can't imagine this is it because this is definitely not knee deep. But give it a shot and see how I can get over this one. I'm wondering if the trees up there might be better. I think I'm going to try that, the root system over there. Those rocks, the root system, see what I can do. So I did make it across, and instead of going down there and trying to get over the rocks, I just went across here where the roots from the trees are in the big rock just to make it a little easier on me. So again, slowly, slowly making my way to my final destination. When you're out here and you have a lot of time on your hand, like I do, you know, today I can't help but, I don't know, not attaining my goal is a little frustrating. But at the same time, I know this is the wisest decision to make. I just, I can't sit at a hostel for three or four weeks and hope my foot gets better so I can just make it over the next mountain. And then go to the next hostel and do that over and over. That's just not going to work. So I know the best thing is going home. And if I care to come back out ever again, I can do some section hiking. And just take my time and enjoy the scenery as I uh, maybe complete a few more miles every year. And just see how it goes. a very nice open area here. They say they don't allow tenting. That sign way far back said no t tenting between here and Katahdin Ironworks Road. But yeah, this would be a uh, would have been a very nice area to pitch a tent. A lot of spots for nice and flat spots for tenting. All right, big turn in the trail here. Making my way to the right. I still have about a mile to go, so I'm heading in the direction of the West Branch Pleasant River parking area. Now, I know that'll end up going to the left, but I'll continue to the right towards the Katahdin Ironworks Road. All right, the sign down here says, Attention hikers, the Hermitage and Gulf Haggis are each one of Maine's 14 natural, national natural landmarks. In order to protect these landmarks, there's no camping and no fires in the Hermitage or the Gulf Haggis. Per National Park Service regulations, all pets must be kept on a leash no longer than six feet. All right, this is a sign off from us. And our last day on the trail. Getting ready to get picked up and head back to uh, the hostel. And then head on home within the next couple of days.
It's been fun being out here, but it's just uh, taking a toll on my body and time for me to go home and recuperate. Uh, nice little logging road here, the bridge, and a little creek down below.